Inam kitchen me de. Me say abon me say. Yo YouTube, I'm me again you there, Debbie. Back phone, I don't know if you are going right at all. Bon me say. Inam me kitchen me de. Look here now. I have everything lined up. See? I give you know, the ingredients. I give you know, the recipe. Now, I have the method I'm going to show you. So, I'm supposed to have everything ready. Because me have everything ready. All of my liquid here. All of my dry ingredients here. My bun tin here. My oven preheated. 160 Celsius. 325 Fahrenheit. Boom. See? So, follow me now. Follow me. Give one of the ingredients, just the method. On a never, on a silly method. No, right? Wet, dry, right. So we we'll have a bunting right there. So boom. I'm gonna show you how we we'll cut, line, and grease the bunting. Ready? All right. Watch me now. Line up your bunting. With your grease proof paper, mark him out. No water going from water going here. Mark him out there. Why did I make him a grease paper? Your teeth, mama. You want me to mark him out? He might tear up, you know. But you me, you know, see, don't cut already. I'm not cutting me. Alright, watch me now, YouTube. Cut out with grease proof paper. And we are going to line up with bunting. Right? And people use a little flour. Grease it and you. I don't use the flour. You know why? You see, when you use the flour and the thing there, it come out with a crust. I'm not too, I'm not too fancy that. So I'm going to use the flour. Grease proof, out of the way. All right. I have a butter here. I'm going to wash my hand. Because you never see me wash my hand. See? Hands washed. Line me up there. Bunting must be properly dried. All right. You are going to take your index finger like when all of my tone finger for go lick bowl and you are going to line in some butter. Yup. Butter not supposed to be too much at room temperature, supposed to be runny. Butter must be firm or, the, or margarine, whatever. It must be either firm or preferably frozen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In and the groove them. In at the groove, yeah. In and out the grooves. Bunting. Yup, lining up. You know what you look already so it's cut on the outside. Oh, we don't respond to that. There you go. Alright. This is the grease proof paper. One side supposed to be shine and the other side supposed to be flat. But no idea. The two side them flat so for, for security reason look here oh me show me i'll show you how me i do it for security reason see it line him up down in there you go back again to make sure you're up on the safe side and you do the, the grease proof paper itself you're supposed to just grease, line, and leave. But guess what? You see them my paper here look so nowadays. They make sure I send me grease. Watch me, you know. Watch me. Zoom in for the bunt in there. Good, sir. All right. When you grease up your hands so, in our kitchen, when we are baking, we hand grease up. Always best to use this hand towel. 
Because you put your hand on grease and water, there's a source of grease that appear from them. Boom. So all of my dry ingredients here, we are going to incorporate them. Let me tell you, you know, oven down there 160. Your Celsius made a pan, you know, so 160. So every, all the dry ingredients are in here. Right? We are going to incorporate them. Right? All the wet ingredients except the melted butter is in here. So I'm going to add my melted butter now. Three tablespoons of butter that has been melted and cooled. One, two, three. Alright. We are going to get stuck. Because you don't know the story in business, how you go? Mm. So the liquid. This is the liquid. And nothing no wrong, you know. You can taste after your something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, Jesus. I went ahead and I got some ham on. This give the bun superb flavor. Beautiful taste. If you can get some of this, no problem. And I went ahead and I put a little malt. You understand? Extra flavoring. That's all me do extra. No. We are going to start. Now, the wet ingredients, everything has been incorporated. Let me tell you something. Let me taste it for the time. Mm -mm. The bun ready already. All right. So, is the wet into the dry? Pour a little. Look how it cook. Or alternately. And fold. Cut and fold. Zoom in for them there. Cut and fold. Because yes, when you do it like this, we know when the bun done and you cut, you see some big old white flour mark in it. So that's how we do it. That's why we do it this way. A little more. Yep. Cut and fold. Cut and fold. Cut and fold. A little more. Cut and fold. Cut and fold. So you see it? Cut, fold. Cut, fold. Cut, fold. See? All of the whiteness gone. That's why we cut and fold. It's the color it already, mama. Yes, darling. Mm -hmm. So we get out. When this bun ready, we're not supposed to see a white lump. Alright? Show some more. Mm -hmm. You can start something, something to eat now. Yeah? We we'll have a one and a half cup. I'm going to chop it out. I mean, some people want it mash up. I don't really like it mash up. I just eat a quarter jar. I scoop it in. Papa Jesus. Papa Jesus. Mm. And the other bun, you never see bun look so. Oh yeah. See bun there. Run go kill yourself. Move a lot. Zoom in on the bun there. Look at this. Look at that. That is how you're supposed to have your mixture. You don't want it no more watery. And you don't want it no more tighter. This is not a east bun. This is a bun where we use baking powder into so by the time this is baking our slow of not 160 degrees celsius or 325 fahrenheit slow oven you understand but we don't want the bone kumo dry yep listen to me now here's your bone mixture muma muma Right. Look at this now. We're going to scoop now. You might get a little more. Remember, you can't flow the pan up to the top, you know. Because, remember, you have to leave space for when the bun rise up. But at the same time, you want your bun to come up full. Um, bigger bun. Mm. Yeah, we're supposed to get this full. But guess what? I put a little extra something 
So that's why we get this. Right? See here. This is how it's supposed to look when you're putting it inside of the oven. So by the time it starts to bake and it starts to rise, you come chuck up a tap yourself full of people and one pad of bun. Okay. We're going in now into the preheated oven. Right? Right away. Right there. Right in the oven. Mm -hmm. Whoops! Oh no, see the heat! Right in there. Yes? For approximately one hour. When one hour time, we will be back to see what is happening. Listen to me now. So to me. A long time it turns up wrong, go get the ingredients then. Not ingredients, ingredients. That's how we say down here when we're ready, you know. We say ingredients, ingredients, anything at the end, same thing. So, me tell you no long time, run go get to no something. Me, me talk to you about the bun. Me go to the sitting them, show enough to prep the bun. Now see ya. Listen to me. When we return, we will be taking out the bun, looking at the bun, but we now caught no bun. You understand? After we, when we return, we will just be looking at the beauty of the bun. If you want to cut full, I get that full brown, but me now cut mine now because we want to um, stay upon that journey with me. And when the bun cure, and when we take it out of the plastic and when we cut it, we want to see the texture of the bun. You cut it when it finished now. You ain't gonna get the what what the, the, the feel that taste of Easter bun. I want you to let it stay. What? When we come back, we will start to tell her that. Me not going away, and I soon come back. Look a bit. Boom. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Remember, I said, well, no, no, let's go while I go put the bun in the oven. No, YouTube time. It has been about an hour, probably about 10 minutes. YouTube time. You said, they're going to find me a fast door. I'll see you rest time, them here. But look what happens. See me find two. Me. When I'm sitting here in gloves, or sitting and me, me not know something but I'm in the zone here. So we have a cape tester here and we're going in there to see what happened. From we put it in there, we don't open the oven because we don't want it drop and flap. We tell us where look at bun will come up high, full of pants. So from we put it in the and we know the whole house as well so bun. That kind of national be a crib. Pure bun smell. So we are going in there now to see what is happening. Falaba coming, man. Pull out to wrap the heat. Papa Jesus. Ooh. Oh, it's a... See me there? Hold on. I'm lucky it wasn't yet. I'm lucky it yet there. Ooh, I can't turn him up little. If you ever like him, ready? Hold on. I will keep testing this in. In the center. We go down. And once you see come out clean, that means that you're ready. From the middle ready, everywhere ready. So that means to say, we can turn off the oven. Watch me now, YouTube. Line me up the camera, girl. See me, me drop. Line me up. Mm -hmm. You see me, bun? This is my bun. You see the top of my bun? I'm not glazed it yet, you know. You see the top? Watch me now. Me not even not fit. You see some people? You see them? See Miss Patula here, you know? Ready? Ready? Voila. This name's Patula. Supposed to go around the edges and, 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 and loosen up the edges. Me not put no spatula in there. Watch me. Watch me when they are on bonding. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me bun. I'm in a run the spatula in there. It's me bun. That's the bun. No, this is the bun. You can't move with this bun right around here. See it there? You need to let this stay on top. We have one way around the corner, yes, sir. Mm. Around it, me wire wrap there. Right round it. But we can't drop him out on this away I rock here yet. We're gonna leave her 
onto the wire wrap right here and make the ear go underneath that. Shall I go finish up on the wire? I just say, come here, you're too rude. I should not come up and stop it. I remember Jessie from Little Later and some. Yeah, that Jessie. Mm. So you leave her on the wire wrap there. This cannot come out yet. If it come out as yet, if it come out right about now, it won't drop open, break into because the moisture the bun, we have to leave it here to cool. And after it cool for a certain time, probably another two or three hours, you can just invert it, turn it over, and leave it on top of the wire rack. When that time comes, you're gonna glaze it with a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of melted butter. Melt the butter, beat it with the honey together, and use a pastry brush and brush it on. And then you proceed to wrap with your foil paper. But listen to me. When you take it out another three hours, the pure bun alone is going to depend on the wire rack. Right? Listen to me. So when the zoom in for me, the next three hours, you're going to invert it from the pan onto the wire rack itself. Right? It is going to stay on the wire rack for another six to seven hours before it is properly cooled. It has to be properly cooled before you can wrap it in the serum. But remember, me, me have left that, that, that all of them little information there in the description. Only one 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 for put on pan it with one teaspoon of honey and the one teaspoon of melted butter. If you don't have no pastry brush, don't no worry yourself. Just use one tablespoon and use it box. All right, hold on. Worry yourself, car. You don't have run pastry shop. You don't must have no pastry brush like man. But if you don't have no pastry brush, you just take it up and scoop it on. Scoop it on. Can see it? You see the texture it already? And then all back it up, but you know, saying I want one case of honey and one case of butter. Because the texture, just put moist it on to just the gel the top. Then you wrap it in a, your plastic wrap. Then now, a few days down the line, we are going to reveal the bun from the plastic wrap. One more thing for the record. When we were doing the mixture, when we were doing mixing up the method, the sugar was already melted in the liquid my bad the sugar the one and a half cups of sugar it was already dissolved in the liquid so i did not remember to say that so i'm just making the correction but me still have a link it below and the rest all of you do for the bun me still have a link it below so we're not see me back again panda bun here this a bun i go in a one plastic pan wrap it is gonna be glazed and in a plastic wrap and we're gonna pull it from the plastic wrap and reveal it okay we go and pull it from the plastic wrap and reveal it so you see if you never did the panda little journey and that one yeah it was still not too late you know look about on a little something get up on a little things one two this is the third video right on the supposed to that we make when the bun ready for listen to me now listen to me some sitting and going in for my kitchen and some breed that smell people and my neighbor they might call me from all bone and all kind of same thing i sign me and sign out from for the bone business and you know sign me and sign out when you don't see me again i hate bone i go eat and remember me tell you know me i go show you what me serve up my bone with different because you don't know me you know you don't know me do for me sitting different you know listen to me now i sign me and sign out you know without not a bone cut they be from down a yard boom 